Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Odin Sphere. We're back as the Puka Prince, and I did a little off off uh, channel leveling up so I can try to um oh, whoops. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? Whoa, apologies for that guys. I forgot I had the TV on so loud because I was playing Overwatch earlier. So I had the TV like really, really loud, so I don't want any bad overfeed or anything like that or a bad echo. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, we're back as the Puka Prince. Right now we're trying to figure out who the hell is impersonating us and who turned us into a Puka. So I did some off-camera off, uh, leveling up so I could... Because I got my ass kicked a couple of times in the last episode, so I'm thinking like, you know what, I think I may need to uh, level up a bit more because I know it, but since we're getting, we're getting later into the game and it's going to be getting more and more difficult. So leveling up I think is going to be pretty crucial. So, yeah, I, I um, unfortunately wasn't able to, I think I went up two levels, not that big, but beca because that it's so early into his story, uh, the, uh, the uh, Puka Kitchen is not available to us right now, so we need to uh, wait until maybe later until the Puka Kitchen is uh, currently available, then we can start doing some major leveling up, but right now I just bought a whole bunch of food, went to the rest stop uh, with Amari and uh, just ate some food there, so. And we got a Fozon prism. Sweet. What did we get? Thank you for automatically going to the menu, which I didn't have to do. Thundercloud. Ooh, that sounds neat. What does that do? Summon a Kalum uh, Omnius. I hate these stupid-ass cloud names. They're so hard to say. Which will generate lightning for a time. Ooh, that actually sounds really, really fun. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and level that up. Kumulon Imbus. Kumulon Imbus? Is that how you fucking say it? Ah, anyway. Excuse my poor reading skills. And an egg. Sweet. Now we can probably go cook some more. But right now, we only got a few more areas to go to before the boss fight, so let's move on. Whoops. Ooh, what is this? This is new. Looks like a fruit I can take. Ooh, what's that? A pomegranate. You know, I've never actually tried a pomegranate in li real life. What is that? What? Where'd it go? Shit. Well, I knocked something down. Did I take it? Or did that just give me fozons? It looked like acorns. Did I get it? No. Or did that just give me a fozon? Huh. Weird. I hope I didn't just destroy it. <laughs> but that's cool. Pomegranate. I guess you can now find, like, maybe more items to... to get. Experience 70, max HP plus 2, re uh, recovers 50 H H HP. Eh, that's not too bad. Alright, let's move on. We gotta go to these three down- three- these three areas down here, and then we can move on with the story. And get to the boss battle. Oh, what the hell? Why is it dark here? I've never experienced a dark area in the forest before, unless this, this ain't- I'm pretty sure this ain't a glitch. What the- Is it just throwing, like, a harder difficulty at me? For it being dark? That's so weird. Yeah, that's kinda weird. I was not expecting that, nor did they ever tell me that they were gonna be throwing dark areas in the forest. What the hell? Interesting. I guess it keeps you on your toes. Alright guys, we made it. Oh man, I, apparently I didn't realize there were some more bo uh, bo uh, battles I had to go through, even though I already went through this area? I don't know, weird. Anyway, we're about to face our next boss, so let's get to it. Bring it on! At that time,
遅かったな現れるのを待っていたぞ何者だ私が戻るのを知っていたとでも言うつもりか私をこんな姿に変えたのもお前だな何が狙いだプリニウムに教えるわけがないだろう私の剣は鋭い口を開かせてみせるぞこれでも俺を切れるのかい王子の恋のお相手ベルベット姫だどうした恋しい姫がここにいるのに、oh, <laughs> Poor Cornelius is face Look at him, he's like so shocked ご所望かい姫、これは一体色恋の熱に浮かされて疑うことなどみじんも知らずか目覚めれば真実は残酷なもんだ嘘だ彼女はお前とは違うお前のようにぬくぬくと育った箱入りを見ると腹が立つこの愛する者の手によって恋い焦がれて盲目のうちに死ぬがいい黙れお前があの方であるはずがない Nope, it is not her. At least I hope it's not. Velvet's imposter. Now, hopefully, the leveling up I did here will help me quite a bit. Because I, I was getting my ass kicked by the mid bosses earlier. So, level 14, I'm currently level 18. So, that should be a good enough difference here. Oh, yeah, I, I wanted to show off the new ability. This thing is really cool. Look at this. I, I can actually summon. Whoa! Summon a cloud. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, that's poison. Ow. Summon a cloud and it slowly follows the enemy. That's really, really cool. I love this ability. It does a pretty decent amount of damage once I level it up more. I remember having a bit of trouble in this、uh, fight with Gwendolyn just because she has a lot of. Abilities that are hard to get through. Lots of AoE kind of like area control powers that doesn't allow you to get near them. But I seem to be doing okay, I hope. Because I remember in the previous game, or when I first played this game, I made the horrible, like. Decision to not like properly level up, or at least I didn't know. Like, I don't think they kind of had like a better in the older game, they didn't really have quite as good as an indicator when you were kind of low, like too low level or something, or when like an enemy was like probably a little too strong for you. Like, they didn't have like levels shown like at the bottom over there, or right with Velvet's HP, but they uh, they definitely did a better job on this one. But yeah, the, the, but the fact is, like, now I, can, now I know, like, when this character is, like, probably a little too much for me. Because in the previous game, like, I had a lot of trouble, and that was just due to me not leveling up as much as I should have. To the point where I had to really go back and grind a bit to make sure I was, like, the perfect, I was, like, a good level in order to face the boss, because I got my ass kicked a lot. In the previous game, and I kind of just. And I thought it was because I sucked, but no, it was because no, you're just way under level. Like, I didn't spend enough time grinding, is what I should have been doing. So that's what I'm hopefully gonna recommend. I'm gonna. I'm going to,、uh, fix here is I'm gonna make sure I'm a good enough level to face some of these foes, because they can get pretty tough, especially at the later level. s The boss battles get more and more ridiculous as time goes on. Did you stop swinging around? Let me hit you. Ow. Oh god, I need to heal. Ow, 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 ow. Shit. Holy crap. I need to heal, heal, heal. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ah, I couldn't get out of that block animation. Knock you out of that. Ah, damn it. Get. 
trying so hard not to get her, let her do any of those big attacks. Oh, jeez! Ah, well, I blocked it, but I didn't block the, the status effect. Ow, 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 you bitch, you bitch. I don't care how much I love you. Die. Man, if I had gotten into this fight probably any lower of a level, I would really have it be having a tough time. Hey, no, 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 no! Bitch, no! God, I'm not gonna let you heal when you only have, like, five health. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yes! Yes! FYI, this is one of my favorite characters. どうして私を陥れたのか聞こう。死の国へまで落としたりうだ。答えろ。死の国だって。そんなことは知らない。だがお前にプーカの呪いをかけたのは俺だ。お前なんぞに可愛い妹を渡して黙るか。もう元に
feels odd to have this many. Like, usually I only have, like, a little over a hundred. Very nice. Alright, let's continue. Twins and Valentine earned a trophy. Huh. I got I bet that's just a trophy you get in the middle of the game. Alright, let's see what we have next for us. Titania Capital. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, these guys. You know, every single guard in this game is just h this huge, hulked up, steroid looking motherfucker. <laughs> Man, they're so sc <laughs> scary looking. Do I look like a fucking goblin? Oh, poor Cornelius. Uh. Yeah, that sucks. I know, I've been there. Wait, no, they're talking about they're talking about uh the other girl. Nope, they're talking about Griselda. Not Gwendolyn. They didn't specify which daughter. <laughs> Shut up and sell me shit. Uh oh. He's selling me a warmer, which means I'm probably going to be going to the snowy area next. And what the hell, I'll buy one. Yep, going to the snowy area next, which is one of my favorite levels. Now, I don't know why. I forgot why I'm going here. Oh, yeah, this this bastard. ケンチョウか。私を王子と呼ぶ声が聞こえる。私はもはや王子ではない。ただの獣だ。宮廷魔術師のウルズールでございます。私めはまほうつかい。本身に降りかかった魔法がどんなものか存じておりまするまほうまほうまほうそんなものはそれを操る者ごと火炙りになるがいいお気を確かにあなた様をお救い申し上げたいが私めでは力不足王は私の言葉に耳も貸されませんい
they explored it, found an old Valentinian battleship, and then used it. So that's why I've been facing them, facing, uh, that's actually really cool that they just didn't add, like, a, a random new boss. They actually have a reasoning behind it. So they, so that's actually a Valentinian, sh or, uh, Valentinian ship. And then they just made it their own. That's actually really cool. That they kind of gave it a little bit of explanation as to why they, those dwarves now have, like, those flying zeppelins. Oh. Oh, interesting. This ice wall looks thin and breakable. Okay, then. Let's see. Nice! That is a cool mechanic! That's actually really neat. So now- oh, did I just create myself a shortcut? Hey, get back here. Oh, okay, well, no, I guess I didn't create a shortcut. I just pretty much made myself, uh, just allowed myself to- that's actually really cool. Maybe that's a, something that I need to look out for. Maybe you'll they'll be introducing some secrets later on that I have to be on the lookout for. I guess I'm thinking that's probably going to be a thing. That, oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Son of a bitch. Get off me. So I'm guessing that's going to be th a thing in the later levels, because they definitely just spelled out, like, in the fire level, you can use Cyclone to blow down fire. Here, you have to use volcanoes to break down the wall. And then in a uh, later level, you can use... Okay, that's that's kind of neat. Uh, I hope they'd use it to... in order to find secrets, because that'd be pretty neat. Or maybe to create shortcuts between the maps and other levels. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, this thing again. I This was in the previous level. Shit. Uh, let's see. Go down slowly. Anything over here? Man, you know, the, I'm so glad that this game doesn't, like... In the previous game, like, as much as I love it, like, some of the levels got a little repetitive. Because they were, um... It was kind of just the same area over and over again. But it, it was, um... But I'm so glad that the... Like, this is my second time here. And it's not exactly the same as the first time when I played as Gwendolyn. Like, they're actually introducing, like, new, like, little areas. Like, this is completely new. This, like, little... This little, uh, cavern that I'm falling into wasn't in the first time I played. So that's actually really neat. Because it's, like... In the pre... In the previous, like, Odin Sphere, it was a lot of fun, but at the same time, you kind of did the same levels over and over again with each character. And even as pretty as the levels are, like, it, it did get, like, a little repetitive from time to time. So, it's a small criticism of a somewhat uh, of a great game, in my opinion, but it, yeah, it, it just, it's really nice that they actually took the time to make sure that, you know, maybe, like, each time you go through a, the the area, because you, you technically have to go through each of these areas with every character. So in order not to make that so repetitive, I'm pretty sure they probably, you know, make sure that you don't get bored. Oh, nice! That was the first time I used that Street Slash ability. Ooh, that's good for the for enemies like this when they group up all together. But yeah, that's really neat. Because that happened in the in uh, Ragnar Ball or when I was in Gwendolyn's area. Hopefully this area won't be too long. Hopefully I want to get to Hindle pretty soon. Hindle's a, I I love the dragon designs in this game too. Hindle is one of Hindle. Unfortunately, doesn't get like a lot of screen time in this game, but he's a really cool dragon. I like him a lot. And I think I already know who our boss is going to be. I won't spoil it, but he's pretty awesome. Mid-boss battle. Oh, this guy. I remember you. They made this guy. You know, I said this before when I played this guy the first time. This guy definitely looks like a mega evolution of fucking Gengar or something like that. If Pokemon weren't so, like, cutesy sometimes, like, I think this guy would, like, feel like a fucking Gengar evolution or something like that. Ow, ow, ow. Right, he does that. You know what? This guy kind of stays a, little, a bit stationary, so let's try a... Whoops. Wrong inventory. 
Let's try Thundercloud. I bet this this would work well against him. Ow! Oh, maybe not in this form. Oh god, that's horrifying. That's still as horrifying as ever. Seems like he's getting a good number on him. Whoop. Stop barfing up snowflakes. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh god, oh my god, that is horrifying. Holy shit! Ah! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ah, fuck off. Ah, jeez. You know what, a volcano sounds good right now. Actually, I'll use this first. That ought to keep the ice from freezing me so much. Ah, fucking hell. Go away! Oh my god, that's so long. That's so scary! Ah, oh, god. Oh, that's horrifying. He's like twice as scary as he was in the first game. I don't remember this guy being so tough. Like in the first game, he just kind of like only like half the moves he does now. Oh my god, what is he doing? That is- oh, that looks- what the fuck is he doing? That's new. Oh, he's healing himself! Fuck off, no! I'm not gonna let you heal. Only I can heal. Alright. Thundercloud. Go. I choose you. Ah. Ah, good, yeah, good, uh, health potion. Gimme. Oh, thank god. Ow, 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 damn it! Stop using that charge move, oh my god. Ah! Okay, I have to get so close to this guy, maybe... Yeah, this ought to do. Ow, come on! I'm too hard-headed to back off! Ah, oh, thank god. B. Okay, I guess I deserved that. I did somewhat poorly on that. Woof. Okay, yeah, that guy was still scary, as scary as ever. Okay, let's see how much... I got this area, I got that down area. Actually, I forgot to buy the map from the from the dude in the previous thing. But I think I'm just gonna end it off here. We beat a mid-boss battle, we're halfway through this area, we're gonna go meet Hindle the dragon. So I th hope, hope you guys are enjoying. We uh, f finally figured out who the hell turned us into a puka and why he's being such a an asshole. But yeah, Ingwe is one of my favorite characters, and I can't I can't wait to get to the later parts of the game where you actually get to see like his intentions and stuff like that. Like he's a pretty interesting character, and he appears a lot more once we get into like uh, some of the later uh, story and everything like that. But he's really cool and a jerk, but I still love him. Trash baby. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We're going to continue. We're going to go meet Hindle the dragon next episode and we and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye. Tell this. Size node. Permanently increased projectile size for weapons. Okay. <laughs> it's the wall chicken. <laughs>